Hi, welcome to this latest episode of Post of the Week, and today we're going to talk about Port Lockdown. Kevin Yang, a user in our community, uh, asked, what is Port Lockdown? And so Kathy Rodriguez, who's one of our amazing trainers, uh, answered the question. Uh, but I wanted to cover a little bit about what it is and what it's not. And so um, if you look at the cloud, or you know, the, the internet cloud, not the cloud, uh, but you come in and you have your big IP, and maybe you have additional big IPs in here. And then maybe you also have um, an F5 DNS. Okay. And uh, maybe that's connected internally, maybe it's not. Uh, but in this case, we'll, we'll connect it internally. And then you have another layer where you have uh, maybe some web servers. And then maybe you have uh, some other servers that are handling other types of traffic. And then from that layer, you then have an internal firewall. Um, maybe that's a big IP, maybe it's not. Um, and then inside you have additional services um, as well. So you kind of have a, a typical DMZ environment. Maybe you have other firewalls and other services. But what Port Lockdown does is it does not stop the traffic coming through. So any traffic that's being handled by uh, a virtual server uh, coming through Big IP, it's not looking at that traffic um, because the virtual, unless of course the virtual server is on a self IP. But what we're looking at uh, specifically is the self IPs on the Big IP. So not something that's handling data traffic, but these individual interfaces on the Big IPs. And so the settings for that, and essentially what port lockdown is, is it's an ingress access list. So it will allow the ports and protocols that you allow in that list in the self IP, and it will block the ones that you don't allow. There is, uh, by default, a list of ports, uh, TCP and UDP ports and protocols um, that, that are acceptable. Uh, things like uh, TCP 22, which is uh, SSH, of course, and then 443, so you can get to um, so you can get to the uh, the Big IP uh, UI, and then uh, like UDP uh, 161, which is the SNMP, and so there's there's a long list of, of ports. Pro Actually, uh, OSPF and RIP are in that default list as well, and so if you're running uh, routing protocols in the Big IP those will be allowed uh, to route in. I think uh, DNS is on there as well, so TCP and UDP 53 um, are in that list. But anyway, there's a default list that will accept all of those in the default list. You can also do allow all, which is pretty much, you're, you're saying I don't care what traffic you address to the big IP, it's gonna go ahead and listen for that. And then, or I'm sorry, it's gonna allow for it. It's not necessarily listening for it, but it's gonna allow for it. And then there's an allow none, and what some people will do, especially if you don't have this box needing to communicate to the self IPs and you don't have another data center out there that needs to communicate uh, for uh, syncing or, or uh, 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 iQuery, then what a lot of people will do is they'll do allow none here on the outside. And um, in fact, some people don't even put self IPs on the outside of their big IPs. They'll just let the, uh, the virtual servers do what they need to do to address traffic, but they won't even put self IPs out here. And um, so then that's default all and none. Then you can obviously, um, uh, you can customize this list. So say you want to only allow these two protocols on the inside. So you can SSH and you can hit the GUI but otherwise you don't want anything else being allowed into the big IPs. Then you can customize that list and only add those two. Uh, there are some exceptions. ICMP, uh, regardless of what your settings are, uh, will be uh, allowed. And also the TCP mirroring ports. So if, if, the, if this is a cluster here and you have uh, HA configured there, the mirroring ports, which I think start at 1029 on TCP, uh, those will be allowed regardless of what your, your list says uh, to the self IPs. 
And then the other one is the, uh, the sync group protocol, uh, which is uh, TCP 4353. And that's, uh, regardless of what you configure, that one will be allowed through. So that's what port lockdown is. And uh, thank you for joining. And if you have any questions, uh, the solution for this is K17,333. And I'll link that in the video and you can get all the details of what's default where. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you out there in the community.